Hi, I'm Dan. I work on the product side at the Roku Ads team, and I'm going to walk you through the Roku Ad Manager platform. This is a self-serve ad platform purposely built for partners like you. So let's do a quick walkthrough to get you comfortable with what this tool can do. First things first, free to sign up, and when you do sign up, you'll be walked into a page like this. It's called our dashboard. Once you build and run campaigns, this will start to populate itself with all the information about the campaigns that have run and are running. Let's move over to a new campaign build, which is really the most important piece. Name your campaign. And then choose your placement type. Roku Ad Manager gives you two options. You can run display campaigns. Those are image assets that run on our home screen banner and inside of our screen savers, which run in the Roku City scroll. You can also run video ads. Video ads are video assets that run inside of ad-supported video content. Think of them like TV commercials that you might be comfortable with. Let's take a look at the display build first because it is our most commonly bought. We'll select our country, that's the United States. And now you have two ways to buy. You can buy on CPI, cost per install, only paying for when someone installs your channel, or cost per thousand impressions or CPM. Completely up to you. CPI campaigns allow for geotargeting. CPM campaigns allow for geotargeting and audience targeting. So keep those things in mind and I'll show you what those look like. If you were to look at a video campaign just for sake of comparison inside of the US, you're only going to have a CPM option. You're not going to have a CPI option. So if you need to buy on install, stick to display. If you're going to buy on CPM, you can look at video or display. So let's pop back into display and we'll, we'll finish out the workflow on two options with display. First, we'll start with the CPI campaign. Cost $3. That means you're going to pay $3 for every install that's driven. You're going to select your channel. For us, it's the Roku channel. For you, it will be whatever channel you have. And now it's going to be as simple as telling us how much you want to spend. So if you're paying $3 per install, $500 is our minimum campaign buy. There is no maximum amount that you can spend, so feel free to put as much as you want in here. And that'll kick out how many installs that translates to. That's how many new installs will be driven uh, through this ad campaign or what you will pay for. In the event of any under delivery or if you pause your campaign at any point and you don't spend this full $5,000, thus not receiving the full amount of installs associated with that, all of the money that is unspent is returned to your credit card. So completely risk-free from a financial standpoint. Pick and choose your flight dates. So let's just say September. Your time zone, East Coast. And now choose your geotargeting. This can be something as simple as New York on a state, DMA, or city level. Or it could be a bulk list of zip codes, if that's something that you wanted. You could also just run this nationally, which makes sense for most of our advertisers. And again, completely up to you. If you plan to upload multiple creatives, let us optimize those for you. This will drive the highest click-through rate and the highest install rate. But if you do have a preference for multiple creatives to run relatively evenly or distribute relatively evenly, you can feel free to toggle that off. It's completely up to you, but we do recommend letting us optimize for you. Then go ahead and upload your creative. We're in a display creative and a CPI buy, so we're going to give you some basic instructions on what that should look like. You can click Creative Guidelines to get more details from that. Click OK. And then all you got to do is name your creative, choose your format, whether that be home screen, screensaver landscape, or horizontal, or screensaver portrait, or vertical. And then pick and choose a measurement provider should you have one. That's certainly not required. And again, creative guidelines right up at the top if you need some more information on that. That's what it looks like to build a campaign on CPI. And I just want to show you a core difference if you choose CPM. So now I've gone ahead, sticking with display, sticking with US, but move to CPM. Since I've moved to CPM, you'll notice that my pricing model changed. Instead of paying $3 for an install, I'm paying $15 for 1,000 ad views, just a different way to buy. We'll select the same channel. We'll keep the budget the same. You'll notice that now I'm looking at around 300,000 impressions to be delivered as opposed to a number of installs. We'll leave the flight where it is. And I want to call out one big difference here, and that's the availability of audience targeting. Audience targeting, as opposed to geotargeting, allows you to select an audience or a who, as opposed to a where. So you can feel free to pick demographics, income levels, and even viewership habits, which make a lot of sense. Maybe you want to target your ad to those that like cooking, or maybe education, 
or fitness. You can pick and choose maybe what interests make sense and maybe you just want to layer on a demographic target to males. So let's include them in there too. Now your campaign is going to target males that like fitness, education, or cooking. Easy way to make sure your ads are going to those that matter most to you. And again, completely customizable. And if you don't want those, go ahead and remove them. Um, really cool tool up at the top here. This is a check availability tool. It's only available on CPM campaigns. So if you're building campaigns and you're hyper-targeting your campaigns, you want to know if your campaign can deliver, you can click check availability, wait a minute or two, and that'll tell you the likelihood of your campaign to deliver. There's more scale available, for example, on this campaign. So I could go ahead and add more budget, or I could reduce my audience size by geo and audience targeting it a little bit more aggressively. Just a good tool to give you guys some insight. Upload your creatives, like we mentioned before, add them to your cart and pay. One last piece to call out here, you can go ahead and click this at any time. This will open up a widget to help you engage with us. There's a searchable help center, so maybe you're interested in billing. It will load up some billing articles for you. Or maybe you want to look at targeting. It'll load up some targeting articles for you. So let's look at audience targeting. All of the information I just talked to you about is right in there. Click open in help center uh, to explore this a little bit easier. But you can always hop back, jump into messages, and send us a message uh, if you need some help directly. Um, we'll, we will answer within a day. This is a human support team on the back end. So know that we're there for you uh, if you do need help along the way. That's a quick and easy run through of what it looks like to build a campaign. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.